Hi and welcome to this new video and in this video I'm going to be talking about Deathmatch which is one of the combat game modes in the new combat system for Velostrone and I'm going to start out just by talking about what happens when you join a Deathmatch session so I've just joined and I've gone line of sight on my quad and you can see that my quad has got like a red flare coming off of it and this basically means that I'm not currently in a combat match and therefore there's no point trying to shoot me because I wouldn't score you any points. In fact you wouldn't be able to hit me because my uh, colliders that are used for combat would not be turned on so your bullets would actually just go straight through me. So if you're in a combat session and you see a quad with the red flare on it that just means somebody's joined after you started playing your combat session and there's no point in trying to shoot them and we can see over here I've got Liam in the room with me as well and his quad is also smoking as well because we haven't started a session yet or uh, we'll started a combat session yet so we're both just smoking away to show that we're basically neutrals and not worth shooting okay so let's start the combat session and you can see in the middle it says deathmatch combat tell you what mode you're in and the countdown you see it was purple and it's actually in your color so the countdown is always shown in your color you can see I'm purple up here and deathmatch changes your colors um, to make sure that all players in the session are different colors because all combat in Velocity is controlled by colors you can only shoot people who are different colors to you so in team deathmatch you can't shoot your colleagues because they're all the same color as you but in deathmatch it automatically changes you all to a different color and therefore you can all shoot each other and if I just come away from the start pad here you can see Liam on the start pad there and he's no longer got the red flare smoke so I know he's a valid enemy If we come outside you'll see there are various power-ups. The ones with the question mark in them are random power-ups so if you fly through those you'll get a random weapon. And then there are specific power-ups on the map as well. So if we go in here, this one here is called Thunder Wave and I recommend watching Colby's video about weapons to find out what they all do. So that one's Thunder Wave and then this one is pyro which I've picked up and you get a pick up, different pickup noise for every weapon and you can see over here oh I crashed so I, I looked, it took my weapon away here on. let me get another weapon here get a random one there we go so you can see over here on the left hand side high up I've got the ice icon and a 10 so this is telling me I've got ice shot and I've got 10 ammo and if I just fire a shot off like that you can see I've now got nine ammo so you saw I shot uh, if I go in the building here you'll see there's a shield and there's the shield now and you can have up to three shields and you can see the, the shield bar down the bottom of the screen here so this tells you how many shields you've got and you can stack up to three of those and each shield will take one hit and then in the building here is vault shot I'll just pick that one up. And a different noise for picking up Volt Shot. And a different firing sound. And you can see it's not very clear at the moment where my bullets are going to go. And so in Deathmatch you really want the HUD turned on so that you can target. And there are two HUDs. There is a small one like this and a larger one. Which you get by pressing H and you can toggle between them. Off, small or large. I tend to prefer to use this one and now you can see exactly where you're firing so you can see that you're now able to target effectively all weapons have direct hit capability and also splash damage capability so if I hit the ground close to an enemy then they might get taken out by splash damage or I can hit them directly uh, there's one more weapon in here that we haven't seen which is in the bottom here which is missile uh, missile is a homing missile you only get one of those so if I 
got that. You can see I've got the missile icon with a 1 next to it. And if I fire this with Liam still in the building, you'll see that it tracks for him. Oh, he raised up, so uh, I actually shot him. Um, so you can see it homed in on him and, uh, and took him out with a single hit. Now, homing missiles are very fast and... Um, they do have a weakness though which is they don't have a, a good turning circle so if you have a missile coming for you and you can tell that by your screen beeping at you which we'll show you in a minute um, then you can take evasive action and you might manage to be missed by that missile you can see Liam here is sat on a white pad and the white pads are basically neutral spawners so players from any team can spawn on a white pad and these are a track editor object and in capture the flag games and this isn't a capture the flag map but in capture the flag games there are blue spawners and red spawners and those are what you'd spawn on as part of your team okay so let's just have a little bit more of a chat about weapons so i shot here um is slow firing so if i put this on continuous fire you can hear that it's firing relatively slowly but each shot is a one-shot kill I'll talk about that weapon at a later point oh, now game has finished so this is a reasonable point for me to talk about the game over statistics so all game modes last for five minutes or 300 seconds and you can see here that I shot Liam once for three points and Liam didn't shoot me and had one death and then down the bottom here you have your experience bar you can see I'm currently level 11 I'm heading for level 12 I've got 2180 experience points and I'll rank up at 3500 and then here it tells me how much experience I got for my match which was plus 45 and it tells me what I got those for so I got plus 5 for um, mounting an, an offense so being an offensive player I got 20 points for the victory and I got 20 points for playing a match added into my experience okay so if we start deathmatch again let me just go pick up a power up here so it's given me ice shot straight away which is the slow firing weapon if I pick up a another weapon and that's the one I want to talk about later again okay so this is pyro shot this so this one causes prop damage it fires a lot faster as you can see and if I hit Liam with it just the once you'll see he starts to smoke and that has given him 100% prop damage so he's now slower so I can catch him easily and he's smoking which tells me he's now a one shot kill if he flies through the recharge gate it will fix his prop damage and he's now no longer smoking and I can now I now have to hit him twice again so there's one hit you see he's smoking again and the second shot is a kill now for vault shot if I pick up vault shot I can show you what happens with that one so again it's a fast firing weapon two shots for a kill I've hit Liam once, you can see he's smoking, but Volt Shot causes battery sag, so it will slow him down, but it'll only slow him down for 10 seconds. Once 10 seconds are up, he's now speeded up, and he's now a two shot kill again. So, Volt Shot is a temporary effect, it's only going to give the, you the ability to slow the player down and kill them whilst that smoke is going on. Like so. And of course, you can repair your battery by flying through the recharge gate again. Um, that will fix that particular problem. Now, eye shot. If I get the eye shot, this is a is like the sniper gun of the game. It's slower firing, but it's a one shot kill. So you've only got to get one shot on target, and you get the kill. And as you can hear, we're now getting the kill announcements coming through for my kill streak so every time I create a kill I'll get a different kill streak announcement so a quadra kill so four kills in a row 
and those keep on going and I think there are up to 17 different kill streak announcements um, so uh, yeah getting high kill streaks is uh, is rewarding just to hear the different kill streak announcements You'll see that Liam is being respawned to various different places when I shoot him, so it's it's not predictable where he's gonna he's gonna reappear, and his trail disappears when he respawns as well, so you can't actually see where he's gone. So that time I think he came up on this spawn pad at the back here. So you never know when you shoot someone where they're going to reappear. So spawn camping and that kind of thing is quite difficult to do because uh, you can't see where players get respawned to. Now if I get Liam to grab a missile I'll show you what happens when you're targeted by a missile. I'm going to head off right over here to the side of the map and if Liam fires on me you'll notice the HUD in the middle goes red and there's a beeping noise and then I got hit and I'm down. Now as soon as you get that beeping noise it's possible that you can take avoiding action so if Liam is able to get another missile oh, I didn't avoid quick enough there but you can out turn a missile uh, if you're quick enough with a fast turn, a spiral dive uh, those types of maneuvers will allow you to avoid a missile uh, last thing to talk about is area effect weapons so if we go in here and get thunder wave this is thunder wave this is an area effect weapon so when you set this off it affects people within a 20 meter radius of you so when I fire this you'll notice that lightning bolts start going across Liam's quad which means that he's been hit by thunder wave and you'll see in the hit notifications on the left that he's been hit by it and what it does is it will deal out one volt shot to him and I think we're going to run out of time for this but I'll do it there we go so there's the one volt shot been applied and he's now smoking and then I shoot can shoot him with just a single shot at that point so thunder wave allows you to hit multiple air uh, enemies at once so if you have a cluster of enemies you can fly into them and hit them all with one Volt shot and then clean up with the Volt shot that it gives you after you've deployed it because it's a it's basically a two two deployment weapon. The first deployment creates the area effect. It then gives you a gun to fight with, which is Volt shot, and you can then one shot kill anyone who was within the radius of the th the area effect weapon when it went off. The only way that your area effect weapon doesn't create create one shot enemies is if they've got a shield in which case it will take one of their shields away so we'll go another game here and this time I'm going to see if uh, Liam can get a signal jammer and use it on me actually if you can if you can get thunder wave first Liam and just set that off so I can sit back here and show what it looks like when somebody deploys a thund the thunder wave just deploy it away from me there we go so you can see that's the thunder wave and it actually did hit me you saw that in the hit feed so I'm smoking now because I took the hit from that and you can find a signal jammer now Liam Okay, so he's deployed signal jam and you can see it's blinded me and I'll be blinded for five seconds during which time he has the advantage and can shoot me and that's me down and I've respawned onto the roof here okay so uh, that's pretty much all of the things you need to know about deathmatch and it's basically just who who gets the most kills and hits wins if we look at the uh, scoreboard you can see that there is kills deaths and hits so I've got three hits one kill and that gives me a total of six points one point each for the hits three points for the kill six points in total I'm sorry that's Liam's score not mine um, and I've just got the single death which was just now when Liam shot me okay um, 
I'm just going to go get a shield so you can see what a shield looks like because uh, we haven't covered that. So if I get a shield, you'll see I get like a, a misty effect going across my camera. That's the shield bubble around me and Liam's done the same. He's also got a shield. So he's got the bubble of the shield around him there and if I shoot him just the once you can see it wipes the shield out but it's actually done him no damage so the shield has protected him from that damage he's now shot me and removed my shield and so we're now back to a situation where we can be killed you'll notice uh, over on the left hand side here if I get Liam to get a weapon and just shoot me once like Volt Shot or Pyro Shot. You can see it just shows the weapon who shot who, so it showed Hoop a fire ash, which means Hoop, hoop shot ash with fire. And if he shoots me again, you can see a skull, so that means he shot me with the ice shot and I died. So that's what the hit feed shows in Deathmatch. Up the top here is the scoring. This shows you my score in my colour and the score leader's score in the other colour. If you happen to be the person who's in the lead, it shows you your score and the second place player. Okay, so uh, that's pretty much it. So what we'll do now is we'll just run a deathmatch where Liam and I have a bit of a fight and you can see how the game dynamic works when we're actually playing deathmatch. got a shield straight away which is good because that protects me Liam's out got a couple of shots into him didn't take any hits myself got 14 bullets left you can see on the left hand side there got one shot into him so he's damaged but we both took each other out on that one straight in with ice uh, sorry with vault shot now on the left there got myself a shield as well Liam took that shield out and took me down, so good play by Liam there. Area effect weapon here, so I need to be close to set it off, but unfortunately he's got me before I can use it. It's a good idea not to fly straight lines in deathmatch, because it makes you hard to hit. managed to get Liam there on the fly through oh, he's gone for the shield so I'll try some of these random power-ups here see if I can get shield yep yeah, got one managed to knock his shield off two hits into him so he's vulnerable now he's going for the recharge and he's got it so he's managed to recover himself there I've run out of bullets, so I'm now vulnerable. Need to get myself another. Ah, oh, Liam took me down there. Oh, denied me a, a weapon there. And blinded me, so... Trying to survive this. Now, I've got the signal jammer as well this time. So, blind Liam this time. You can see the lightning coming off of him. Blinded him again. You see the lightning effect coming off him, which tells me he's blinded. And he's given it all the freestyle there to get out of the way. Managed to shoot him down. That's one of the things about combat is, you know, it's about being able to race around buildings like this. So this is more like racing skills. But when you're trying to avoid shots, it's more to do with freestyle skills. Giving Liam a hard time trying to hit me here. You can see some crazy freestyle going on. And then picking my moment when I want to come in. He's giving me the same. <laughs> Unfortunately hit the ground. Trying to get in the building there for the uh, thunder wave. And, and he's up. 
I managed to get him with the thunder wave, but he managed to shoot me with a missile. I had no time to avoid it. And he's healed his uh, one shot that I got with the thunder wave there. You saw him just going through the recharge gate just to get his health back up. So that was uh, an orbiting dogfight. Those happen quite often in the game where you're... Oh, missile again. Where you're orbiting around each other, uh, trying to get your targeting, lead your shots, because you have to lead your shots, which you'll probably see in this. You've got to get ahead of the of the other person with your targeting reticle and lead your shots in order to get the hit, because they're not instant shot kills. They they you know, they have a travel time, which means you've got to lead targets, and that's part of the difficulty of the game is working out how much you need to lead the target in order to get your shots. And Liam's shielded up and got eye shot at the moment, so that's a bit of luck. Picked up a shield and eye shot. I may have a chance to get things back in uh, I think he's run out I think he's run out of uh, ammo here. There's a lot of crazy freestyle going oh no, it's fooling me. But he doesn't have that shield anymore, which means I shot into him. You can see it's quite hectic. It's a bit, a bit of luck there with the shield, and got him another orbiting uh, attack. Ooh, Mr. And there we go, game over. Liam with the win there with 11 kills. Let's get that back up. 11 kills and 11 hits. Me losing with 7 kills and 11 deaths and 17 hits. So uh, a lot of hits, but not enough kills. And of course, this time around, I got points for offense and for playing the match, but I didn't get any points for, for the win or for being the top ranked player in the session. Okay, so that's Deathmatch. Uh, took a little while to explain because there's quite a lot to it, but as you can see, when you get into it, you don't really think about that. You just think about the weapons and the other players and and your strategies uh, in order to make sure that you are you know, as strong as you can when you engage with other pilots in order to try and beat them. Okay, so that's it, and I'll see you on the next video.